Hey guys, so I want to do a complete final wrap up of the second half of The Walking Dead. And just for this special video, I decided to journey into the apocalyptic afterworld of The Walking Dead behind me. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll stop now. But um, anyway, this has been a wonderful... Um, season uh it was i was worried after they left the jail that it wouldn't be as good not having a steady home for the uh crew but it was actually amazing it went right back into classic uh walking dead you know like back in the day like in season one when they had to travel and set up little mini camps and put the walker barriers around and there was no stable home and there was no stable camp it was just everywhere and uh it was it was amazing it was, it was better than i actually thought it was going to be when, when they lost everything i said i don't know how this is going to how, what, what are they going to do and it was a pleasant surprise when they came back strong we find out that judith is not dead <laughs> we find out that she's actually with uh tyrese and i i wish I wish Carl knew that, cause like he was so sad with me. Sean so talking about like like certain things, like oh talking about like like uh, milk, and he had to get up from the table and walk away, cause like the grief hit him. And I was like, man, this is sad. I just wish he knew. But um, yeah, it was it was amazing. Then the characters that you would never expect to be together, being together, like um, we got Bob and Sasha and Maggie, and we got Rick and me, Sean and Carl, and we got Carol and Tyrese, and uh, Judith and those two kids, and that really went bad. But it was, it was, it was characters you would never expect to be together. And then, like, watching their struggle was so intense, because there was no camp. that We had to explore new houses and new difficulties. Like, when Dara opened that door, all those walkers poured into the uh the funeral home that was probably the scariest scene for me because we're like no I'll kill Daryl and then it was just freaking scary because like you don't know this house like we knew the jail but we don't know this new location and it was always a new location and then second best scene for me was when Rick and I think the episode was uh I'm looking at it right now it's called claimed I think that's when Rick was um uh going trying to hide from them throughout the house and th it was that was scary that's people i told you people scare me like <laughs> you got the walkers but people in the apocalyptic world they don't got no rules so that scares me a whole lot worse than a uh, walkers pouring in ironically and that was an instant scene and then the um the last one in a where uh rick bites that guy's neck out <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely probably my favorite scene. Well, not my favorite scene that's really intense, but it is one of the it's one of the best scenes of this season. And uh it came back strong. It, I don't remember it's a, a long video because I've already done like a review of each uh, episode, but this second season was amazing. And if it, it I, I cannot wait till fall. Like I, I'm trying to rush. I've never rushed my summer before, but now that I love The Walking Dead so much, I'm like rushing my summer just so we can see uh what happens next and uh how you get out of that carton like i mean this is such it's such a cliffhanger like they're now with people who probably are cannibals and they're stuck in some train being herded than like meat you know and i'm like rick i know you buried them weapons but what you plan on doing with that you know like there's no way he's gonna get back to those they got them and i'm, I'm looking so forward to seeing why these people have messed with the wrong people you know I, i'm looking so forward to seeing that and um yeah, it was amazing. In the comments below, please tell me uh, what y'all, what some predictions do y'all see for next season? What was y'all overall feeling? For me, this second half gets an A plus plus. In my opinion, in my opinion, the second half was better than the first half. Don't tell anybody, but that's that's what I feel. That this second half was actually better than the first half. It was amazing, and um, so it gets a ten out of ten for me. Actually, it gets a it gets a hundred out of ten for me because I was like. I was on the edge of my seat every single episode. <laughs> every single episode, I was on the edge of my seat. And, um, yeah, it was amazing. So, tell me in the comments what y'all think. And, um, like I said, all of my videos, I'm an author. Please check out my book in the link below. And I will talk to y'all again. But what will I do this Sunday? Like, I'm so used to saying that. I'll talk to y'all again Monday. But it's the one you did. But I'm going to stop being sad. Uh... I guess we're going to just have to wait, so. Okay, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.